Tuscany. It is a true landscape masterpiece, a place where human genius and the whims of nature have merged to create scenes of undeniable beauty. Its winding valleys, dotted with ancient oaks and age-old olive groves, open at intervals to historic villages, each with its own unique breath and unmistakable identity. In these places, every brick has a story, every alley hides a secret, and time seems to flow with gentle slowness, inviting us to savor every moment. In this video, we will take you on a journey to discover some of the most captivating Tuscan villages, true gems of art, history, and tradition, living witnesses to a glorious past that continues to follow us into the present. Let's start with number one, Pitigliano. A village that defies gravity, perched atop a towering cliff of tough stone. Known as the Little Jerusalem for its historic Jewish community, it is a magical place where history blends with legend. The village is characterized by a labyrinth of narrow streets, winding between houses and palaces carved into the tuff, many of which are connected by underground passages and secret tunnels. The Jewish quarter, with its ancient synagogue and unleavened bread oven, tells the story of centuries-old coexistence, while the cellars carved into the rock reveal the village's winemaking tradition. Pitigliano also offers nature and adventure. Nearby, trails and hiking paths lead to the discovery of extraordinary natural areas, such as the Via Cave, ancient Etruscan paths carved into the rock, or the natural thermal springs, where one can relax in a setting of absolute peace. Number two, Montepulciano. A magnificent open-air art book where every corner, street, and square tells of the grandeur of the Italian Renaissance. Famous for its vino nobile, or nobile wine, this village offers much more than a gastronomic experience. It is a journey through centuries of art and architecture. The Temple of San Biagio, a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture, dominates the scene with its majestic beauty. The Renaissance palaces that adorn the historic center tell the story of a city that has always played a leading role in Tuscan culture and politics. The historic cellars, carved into the tuff beneath the city, are uniquely charming places where one can taste wines of excellence the result of a long tradition and a unique terroir. Number 3. Populonia. An ancient Etruscan settlement is a seaside village famous for its necropolises and the archaeological park that tells the story of iron processing in antiquity.
Located on the Etruscan coast, it offers enchanting beaches where one can relax after a day of cultural discoveries. The village, with its medieval walls and the castle overlooking the sea, creates a magical atmosphere, especially at sunset. For lovers of nature and archaeology, it represents a perfect destination, combining the beauty of the coastal landscape with the richness of its historical heritage. Number 4. Sovana. A small jewel set in the heart of Tuscany's Maremma, a village that seems suspended in time. Its origins date back to the Etruscan era, as evidenced by the numerous archaeological sites in the area. The Cathedral of Sovana, dating back to the 12th century, is a masterpiece of Romanesque architecture, with frescoes and sculptures that narrate the deep spirituality of the place. Equally fascinating are the small shops offering local products, such as Pecorino cheese and Morellino wine, which reflect the gastronomic excellence of the region. A stroll through the village streets also offers moments of peace, with views of the surrounding countryside that captivate every tourist. Number 5. Montalcino Rises majestically on a hill, proudly dominating the vast expanses of the Tuscan countryside. This ancient medieval village is surrounded by powerful fortified walls, enclosing centuries of history and tradition. Within, narrow cobbled streets lead tourists through a sequence of historic squares, noble palaces, and historic buildings, among which stands out the 14th century fortress. An impressive example of medieval military architecture, it offers an unparalleled panoramic view of the surrounding vineyards. Montalcino is renowned worldwide for the production of Brunello, a prestigious red wine that has earned significant international recognition. The village cellars open their doors to visitors for tastings, allowing them to discover the secrets of this noble wine, the fruit of a long winemaking tradition and a passion handed down from generation to generation. Number 6. San Casciano dei Bagni A thermal jewel of Tuscany is famed for its mineral-rich waters, among the hottest in Europe. The historic center is a charming blend of medieval and Renaissance architecture, with stone streets inviting relaxing walks.
the thermal baths offer wellness treatments that utilize the therapeutic properties of the local waters, perfect for a period of rest and regeneration. Beyond the baths, the village is surrounded by lush agricultural landscapes, with vineyards and olive groves producing some of the region's finest oils and wines. Number 8. Anghiari Framed by the green valleys of the Tuscan Romagnolo Apennines is a true Renaissance gem. Every part of this village tells a story of its rich history. For art seekers, the village churches like San Francesco and Sant'Agostino offer splendid examples of sacred art. The weaving workshops, with their still operating looms, allow close observation of tapestry fabric production, a tradition that makes Anghiari famous worldwide. Equally important is the relaxing walk along the medieval walls, offering a panoramic view over the valley below, ideal for those seeking a moment of tranquility. Number 9. Certaldo A medieval village that birthed Giovanni Boccaccio, one of the fathers of Italian literature. Certaldo Alto, the ancient part, is a journey back in time, reachable by a picturesque funicular climbing the hill. Here, Red brick houses and paved streets enclose a rich historical and cultural heritage, jealously guarded within ancient walls. The village still lives by tradition, with events and festivals celebrating its history and culture, including Mercantia, one of Europe's most captivating street theater festivals. Number 10, Montefioralle. Considered one of Italy's most beautiful villages is a small medieval gem that retains its original charm. Its narrow cobbled streets lead to a fortress that dominates the area, offering a spectacular view over the Chianti vineyards. In this village, time seems to slow down, allowing tourists to fully immerse themselves in the tranquility and beauty of the landscape. The restaurants also serve excellent Tuscan cuisine, accompanied by locally produced wines, celebrated worldwide for their quality and flavor. Number 11, Capalbio. 
known for its imposing medieval walls and virtually untouched historic center, Capalbio stands as a true gem offering a full immersion into a medieval atmosphere. Located on the southern border of Tuscany, this village serves as a tranquil refuge where time seems to slow down, inviting tourists to explore its characteristic alleys, hidden squares, and the rich artistic expressions found at every turn. Surrounded by lush nature, the village boasts landscapes that stretch from the gentle hills of the Tuscan countryside to the seashore, offering a diverse panorama that captivates those in search of an authentic and relaxing experience. The wealth of its historical heritage, combined with the pristine beauty of its surroundings, makes Capalbio an ideal place for those wishing to escape the hustle and bustle of modern life and immerse themselves in a setting of serenity and history. Number 12. Lucignano. With its elliptical layout, represents an extraordinary example of medieval urban planning. This beautiful village is famous for its Tree of Life, an artistic masterpiece housed in the Municipal Museum, attracting visitors worldwide for its beauty and symbolic meaning. Additionally, the village streets are lined with historic buildings, artisan shops, and welcoming cafes where one can savor local sweets. Lucignano is also an excellent starting point for exploring the surrounding Tuscan hills, offering landscapes that are a true balm for the soul. Number 13. Pienza. Conceived as the ideal city of the Renaissance, Pienza is the result of a visionary dream by Pope Pius II, who in the 15th century sought to transform his humble native village into an exemplar of perfect urban harmony. The architect Bernardo Rossellino was commissioned to design the new city, following the humanistic principles of the Renaissance thereby creating a masterpiece of beauty and proportion. The heart of Pienza is its main square, surrounded by emblematic buildings such as the Duomo, Palazzo Piccolomini, and the Town Hall, which together form an architectural ensemble of extraordinary elegance. The streets are an intricate maze of stone alleys, offering romantic glimpses and inviting exploration of the numerous artisan shops. Here, one can purchase local products, such as the famous Pienza Pecorino, a cheese with a unique flavor that bears witness to the region's ancient dairy traditions. Number 14, Monterigioni. With its intact walls and towers that dominate the landscape, Monterigioni is one of Italy's most iconic medieval villages.
founded by the Sienese in the 13th century as an outpost against Florence, today the village maintains an atmosphere from another time. Entering through the Franca Gate, one steps into a square that seems still to be in the Middle Ages. Visiting the Armory Museum provides insight into medieval life and battles, while a walk on the walls offers spectacular views of the Tuscan countryside. The artisan shops within the village also offer handcrafted iron goods and traditional textiles, perfect as unique, historically infused souvenirs. Number 15. San Quirico d'Orcia. A jewel set in the marvelous Val d'Orcia. A landscape of harmonious beauty, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This medieval village stands out for its impressive historical and artistic heritage. The Horti Leonini represent one of the most refined examples of a 16th century Italian garden, a green labyrinth where nature and art meet in perfect symbiosis. The Collegiate Church of San Quirico, with its pure lines and interiors rich in artworks, is a masterpiece of Romanesque art that has endured through the centuries. the village is also a key point on the historic Via Francigena, a route of faith and commerce that has seen thousands of pilgrims traverse its paths, enriching the place with stories, encounters, and cultural exchanges. Number 16, Castiglione della Pescaia. With its golden beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see, Castiglione della Pescaia is one of the pearls of the Tuscan coast. This ancient fishing village, with medieval origins, houses a majestic castle that offers panoramic views of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Its clear waters and nearby nature reserves make Castiglione della Pescaia a perfect destination for lovers of nature and the sea, as well as for those seeking history and culture. The village, with its narrow alleys and lively squares, embodies the tranquility of the past, allowing one to experience the atmosphere of bygone times. Number 17, Bagno Vignoni. Known since Roman times for its thermal waters, Bagno Vignoni is a unique village. At the center of the town, there is Piazza delle Sorgenti, a large thermal pool dating back to the 16th century, which was frequented by historical figures such as St. Catherine of Siena, and Lorenzo de' Medici.
Beyond the thermal baths, the village offers tranquility and refreshment among its streets and tourist accommodations, with modern spas that exploit the healing properties of the local springs. The village alleys are rich in history and offer picturesque views, ideal for those seeking a relaxing escape immersed in culture and nature. Number 18. Monticello. This charming village stands out not only for its architectural beauty, but also for its community theater. Every summer, the inhabitants stage a play reflecting their experiences and the history of their land, making Monticello unique in its kind. The narrow medieval streets lead to the Church of Sant'Agata, a Romanesque gem with 14th century frescoes. Photography enthusiasts will find countless rustic corners, and gourmets can delight in local restaurants where dishes like pappardelle with hare ragu celebrate the authentic and rich flavors of Tuscan cuisine. Number 19. Sorano. Known as the Matera of Tuscany for its houses carved into tufa rock, Sorano is a village of incredible historical charm. Its medieval fortresses, such as the Orsini Fortress, dominate the landscape, offering a dive into the past among ancient Etruscan pathways. Surrounded by lush nature, it is ideal for hiking or biking, exploring the numerous trails that offer spectacular views and moments of peace away from daily bustle. A visit to Sorano can be enriched by discovering local wineries that produce quality wines, perfect for accompanying the rustic dishes of Maremma cuisine. Number 20, Volterra. This Etruscan village encapsulates millennia of history within its imposing walls. Beyond the charm of the Roman theater and the mystery of the Etruscan tombs, it astonishes with its Palazzo dei Priori, the oldest town hall in Tuscany. As you walk through the stone alleys, we recommend visiting the Etruscan Museum, which houses one of the finest collections of ancient artifacts. Local craft shops also offer the unique opportunity to take home a piece of this ancient tradition, especially the delicate alabaster sculptures. For food lovers, Volterra provides an abundance of trattorias, where you can enjoy traditional dishes, like pichi pasta with wild boar, seasoned with truffles gathered nearby. Number 21. 
Number 21. San Gimignano. World renowned for its medieval towers, symbols of a past when noble families competed to build ever taller towers to demonstrate their power and wealth. The Piazza della Cisterna, the pulsating heart of the village, the cathedral, and the Torre Grossa are just a few of the architectural wonders that characterize this incredible example of a well-preserved medieval town. But San Gimignano is not just about art and history. It is also a land of fine wines, among which stands out the Vernaccia di San Gimignano, the first Italian wine to receive a controlled designation of origin, representing an ancient and still thriving winemaking tradition. Number 22. San Miniato. Situated along the ancient Via Francigena, it is famed for its historical and gastronomic heritage, particularly for the prized white truffle. Every year, the village hosts one of the most important truffle fairs in Italy, attracting gourmets and the curious from around the world. The historic center with its impressive cathedral and the Tower of Frederick II, offers a wonderful view over the Tuscan countryside. The artisan shops and small cafes provide a warm welcome, while local wineries invite visitors to tastings of wines and typical products, creating an atmosphere rich in tradition and authentic flavors.